batch 142 today. I got a brand new tank of gas here. We had to go out and get it. We ran out last brew. So, we'll definitely have enough gas to get the job done. Just want to make sure you're they're on there tight. We'll light this baby up here. Get the gas on here. Come on, baby. Alright, she's lit. I have this little electric, I talked about it before. Does you call it a pail heater, bucket heater or something? I plug that in an hour earlier, it gets the water up to about 150 degrees. Saves on gas. I gotta finish drying my grains because last night the battery was not powerful enough to finish that. And so it looks like it's charged. Now, let's see. Okay, it says it's got power. Let's finish grinding these grains. Why wouldn't I? Yesterday I couldn't because... There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got all the power in the world now. So once again, batch 142 today, we're going to be using uh, Oregon Cherry Puree. <laughs> love this stuff, love it, love it, love it. And it's, uh, we're going to use a little lime peel with it. So this beer is actually a cherry lime. It's going to be a cherry lime pale ale. And those are some of the ingredients we're using. We'll talk about the recipe uh, as we uh, go through here and dump in and dough in. And we'll get the recipe out to you, and we'll let you know where we're, how it's going. Got some coffee here. We'll start fairly early in the morning. And enjoy our day here. No rush beer brew. That stone yard is in here. Oh, something's going on behind the scenes. <laughs> so on the, uh, the cherry lime we're brewing, we're going to go with three ounces of homegrown 20, uh, 2021. I think it says that on the package, 2021 here. Yeah, 2021. Three ounces of homegrown Cascade hops will be the initial 60-minute addition. And at the end, we'll finish it off with some Citra pellet hops in the hop basket. Not spider, it's not a spider, it's a basket. And our yeast today will be going with uh, US05. That's a darn good yeast. We use it all the time, so I got some in the in stock so we might as well use it up so here we go we're ready to dough in here we're looking for like 166 temperature today maybe 167 because we're going to lose 10 degrees it's cold out here in the in the mash in the in the in the whatnot there i'm just watching my helper over there she's moving some tomatoes around in the backyard the background there we got uh Hope the dough in perfectly here and drop the temperature down. We're looking for like a 155, 156 dough in on this uh, group today. So let's hope it goes well. Cherry lime beer, I'll say it a thousand times, I always do. Batch 142, how you doing? So, I'm doing a nice little slow, slow brew date today. This is ma uh, mainly Munich. You got nine pounds of Munich malt, I got uh, two pounds of uh, Maris Otter. I have uh, Two ounces of chocolate. 
I have uh, one and a half ounces, I believe, of coffee malt. Uh, and I have, I believe, one pound of red wheat. For a total of around 13 pounds, someplace in there. It'll be ready for my rinse outs and water outs and everything else I got here. So let's see if we can come in right here. I wanted to come in at 156. Oh, yeah. Dude. This gauge says 152, 4, 156, 157. It's, and I just uh, checked the accuracy of that recently. So I did want to come in on a higher side, so I like it. Here we go. Alright, we're going to do a little verlofting just before we go to the boil kettle here. There's the color of the uh, cherry beer. We haven't come up with a name with it yet. Oh, that smells delicious. It's amazing how a little bit of chocolate and a slight little bit of coffee malt, and we're talking just like one ounce two ounces of what's ever on the sheet there. She will darken your beer that much. But this is a cherry beer. We have, like I say, we still haven't come up with a name with it, so. You got the wife working on that one. So we'll run one pitcher, maybe two here. She's running pretty clean as it is. We're settling the grain bed. That should be good enough. I hate making a big mess here. <clears throat> Cattle underneath there. Start catching that if need be. In fact, I'm going to start. Make sure my big valve is closed. It is. So we'll let that start draining as we uh, pour in the rest of the work. There's a wad. That's uh, three ounces of a homemade, homemade, <laughs> home, homegrown Cascade hops. I just chewed on one. And they are bitter. They are bitter. So three ounces are going in the basket. I'm really close to the hot break. And then we're going to just do it here sitting down. Oh, boy, I almost spilled it. This is a cherry lime beer. Still working on a name. I can't get it open. There we go. Those are the lime chips. Oh, they smell nice. So we're going to put one ounce of lime chips right into the basket here. Lime peel. Dried lime peel. So, they're in the basket. And we'll put the basket right in the kettle here in two seconds as soon as the hot break comes about. Here comes that lovely, lovely hot break. She is foaming up. I have my hops and my uh, my uh, <laughs> lime peel. Oh boy! Oh, the oh the hot break is lovely. Might have to shut this down to fill the whole basket. I want to make sure it ain't overflowing. Look at that beautiful. She's going good. <laughs> so once again, she's got three ounces of Cascade hops, homegrown in there, and a lime peel. It is the last uh, 15 minutes of this boil. We got two and a half ounces of Citra hops just went in. And I get my Irish moss. Last 15 minutes. I have to give that a big capful or so. Then on top of that, talk louder. I like to take my uh, yeast energizer in the last 15 minutes also. Starting to harden up in here because of the moisture. 
and like to give it a big spoonful. Make sure it dissolves. So we got everything in the citra hops. Last 15 minutes to flame out. We have to get a reading on the uh, Ten sixty. Dang. Ten sixty-five. Wow. Put us down at ten sixty-five. Whew! That's gonna be a good beer. Up from what was it original? Ten forty-six. Ten forty-six to ten sixty-five. Can you pull it down the camera? And a flat tire on this cart there last week during a brew a couple weeks ago it was. And I couldn't, they don't want to carry stuff all over the place. So, this is in position. And we're ready for flame out here. I just got to get my hose hooked up and uh, I put a new black hose on here. That's a high temperature hose. So that's new. So I'll get this set up and. Uh, we're ready for flame out here shortly. So it's actually flame out. So what I do is I get my hot basket out of here first, get that drain in. I start the water going through my work chiller. And she's in. <coughs> flame out. And we are chilling. All right, we're getting our work from our, uh, our cherry beer here. I forget what I called it again. Huh? The wife will remind me what I named it. Well. Cherry Blast. There you go. Check the old Alzheimer's. Cherry Blast. I'll dip that in again. Camera's on, how you doing? And I don't want to make a mess of this, but kind of hard to do at times. It's got this weird valve on it. Well, here goes the cherry juice. Plunk. Oh, that's a dark cherry, baby. Dark cherry juice. Oregon puree. I don't know why they do it. I'd rather have a can. I really would. This valve thing is crazy. Yeah, you could cut the bag open and dump it. I did think of cutting the bag open and dumping it. Just because it's so kind of hard on the fingers. Well, then you get to the bottom, do you get on the bottom of it out? Yeah, I don't know. Last time there was a lot of mango left in there. We're going to put our USO 5 East in. Everything is sanitized. I'll take the scissors. She's in. And we're going to cover on there and our airlock. And this cherry blast brew is done. Cleaning here. That's about it. 142. The uh, cherry blast is all done. We're all cleaned up here. Got it on the fermenter under the bench there. Uh, and it's put away. Put away good enough. It was four hours and 26 minutes. The wife said it took the Brutus one. So that's the way it is when you do these all grains, but uh, they taste so good. We went from 1042 
after boil, boiling off a gallon and a half to 10, 1065. 1046. Or 1046 to 1065, which is, which is a great, great amount. So we're going to love this beer. We can't wait till it's done. But for now, we have the uh, mango. We're going to be tapping that mango keg uh, in a couple days. So until then, uh, I'm going to say Proust. <laughs>